<clears throat> Yo, what's up? So I just wanted to uh, kind of touch on something. Me and my wife was talking, and uh, we were talking about uh, you know marriage a little bit, and and I said, you know, I think um, like marriage, the most important part about marriage, uh, and kind of to to check dudes that's just out there dating. Just dating and dating and dating or being with somebody for a long time and not wanting to commit and all those kinds of things is that uh, um, being married will make you a good person. And and what I mean by that is like marriage challenges you. It uh, it challenges your selfishness. Um, it challenges your arrogance. It challenges your pride. It challenges um, all those things that uh, that when you're by yourself, but you're not committed, like you can do whatever you want, right? You can act however you want, right? Um, but committing to someone means that you're putting them first. So um, and you're supposed to love your wife like Christ loves the church. Well, well Christ adored her. Uh, and so uh, marriage is an adorning of uh, your bride. So, um, so it's no longer about you and what you can do for you and how you can make you feel. Uh, it's about the commitment of being a man of your word, uh, telling your wife, hey, I'm going to go do this and going and doing that and coming back. Not because you're, a, you know, uh, not because there's some oppressive hand. And if you see it like that, then you're seeing it wrong because that's not what marriage is. Um, I, I like to do things for my wife. When my wife asked me to do something. I want to do it because I want to make, I want to please her. I want to make my wife happy. And then when I ask her to do something, she does it for me because she wants to please me. She wants to make me happy. And so uh, if we got the wrong view of marriage, then we think we're losing something um, by being married. Like we, we think that, um, that now, you know, uh, my manhood's in a jar, you know what I'm saying? And I can only, I can only do what she tell me to do now. And that's not the case. True marriage, true biblical marriage is is the two of you um, uh, fighting to outdo each other in honor, <clears throat> fighting to love each other um, through uh, through the thick and thin. <clears throat> a lot of the issues that are happening right now in the world are because people don't want to um, endure conflict. They don't want to go through issues uh, and talk it out and work it out and um, end up being friends on the other side. Um, but that's that's what marriage is. Marriage is it's it's a conflict. It's it's two people that are imperfect, uh, that have a sinful nature, coming together as one, and through that uh, coming together as one, um, there's an accountability. There's a uh, there's an ironing and sharpening iron. Um, there's abrasiveness that happens. Um, your pride uh, will get tested, um, and if you find yourself in humility on the other side, uh, then you're doing marriage right. If you find yourself more prideful, like she need to do what I tell her to do, that's not biblical. Uh, anyone who says that biblical, you're wrong. Uh, and if you don't think you're wrong, you can PM me and I'll explain to you through scripture how you are wrong. Um, the truth is, is that we are supposed to uh, be compassionate and loving and kind and um Men especially, like that that's your that's your thing. Like you're supposed to be compassionate, loving, and kind. Not soft, but compassionate, loving, and kind. And and the way that you find that, because it's not something that's built in you, you're built uh, to be rough in the exterior, to be hard, to be prideful. Like that's that's kind of our, our sinful um uh, by ourself nature. But through the uh, through the testing of the fire of marriage, through the growth, um, through that, you become a better person, you become more like Christ. Um, because now you're loving your wife like Christ loved the church. Now, now you're laying yourself down for her and she's laying herself down for you. And you guys are being the church in a small context of man and woman. And that's where it begins. So, um, I just wanted to, to shoot that out there. Um, hope to help somebody, um, hope that challenges somebody, hope that, that, that knocks off this, uh, this game, like stop playing around. I married a girl, you know? Uh, she's worth it. She's she's uh, she's she's worth being cherished for the rest of her life. And, and if you're with her, then you feel that way. So commit. You know what I mean? Commit.